Who was in the wrong here? Was it Cipollini, Abdul Jafarov? Should both have been relegated? One of the most bizarre finishes I've seen. Decided to go back and watch classics in the 90s, and this bizarre finish in Gent-Wevelhem 1992 really caught my attention. Back when men were men, you know, wore helmets that didn't work, and what the fuck is this? These flares when aero did not exist, uh, just pure panache, pedal harder. Don't have the parkour, but there's the Kemmelberg a few times and a flat finish in Wevelgem, as the name suggests. And like in a lot of additions, depending on the weather, it didn't look like too bad the weather here. Cold, obviously, but not that cold, I guess. Probably people didn't shave their legs as much, but no arm warmers on, so I'm going to assume it was decent conditions, and there was a breakaway after the last Kemmelberg uh, with good riders in it, with Ballerini, uh, Schmil, Museu, Ludwig, and the sprinters teams with Cipollini, JP Van Poppel, uh, Abdul Japarov uh, were trying to bring that back. Fondrias counterattacked, and then it all got locked down, although there were a lot of counterattacks even into the last kilometer in this race, but eventually was going to be a pretty big uh, bunch sprint. One of those moves that did get a fair bit of traction, though, uh, was one with Bauer in it, as well as Kassar and Manulov. But the next year, Cipollini won this race. He was really good in Khan Vavilhem, obviously, as well as Abdu Japarov won this the year before in 1991. He's on Carrera Jeans Vagabond. He's the defending champion. PDM were bringing that Bauer move back for JP Van Poppel, who's the father of Danny Van Poppel, the lead up man, classic sprinter on Bora Hansgrohe. Now, there's also uh, Johan Capio. He's the father of Am- Amari Capio. I think he's on Arkea. But Panasonic were trying to shut things down for, I think, Ludwig in the sprint. They go to the front. Last 530 meters, he was called the Tashkent Terror Abu Japarov. I don't know, was that pejorative, pejorative at the time? Like, did he like that nickname? Um, he's from Uzbekistan, from Tashkent, obviously. But this is all over the shot, and you can't really see anything from the front on, particularly with, you know, everyone's in grey. It's in Belgium in March. Cipollini's in the middle. You see Abdu coming out the left with speed. Then Cipollini tries to chop the hell out of him to the barriers. And you, so you can't really see anything from the front on. There's milling about. They show the front on slow-mo again. Cipollini's on that white dash line. Abdu starts to come out of his wheel with the late burst, really good timing, and Cipollini's like, nah, how about you eat some of these barriers? And then right here, with the hoarding blocking what's happening, Abdu puts his hand out. You can't see it from the front on. And then we see him screaming past wins. Cipollini puts the hands in the air. It's only when you see the overhead shot that you see Cipollini come bursting through the right-hand side, uh, you know, late compared to the others who already started their sprint. It, it just looks so different to a sprint nowadays, doesn't it? He's on the right-hand side here. Abdu's in his slipstream. He's got space to his left. He's got space to his right. But, you know, obviously it's hard to come out of Cip- Cipollini's wheel. There's no guarantee of that. And Cipollini's going past everyone on the left. Abdu starts to come out of the wheel here with speed. Already level with his rear wheel and going past it. I I don't know if he was going to win. It would have been pretty close, I think. And then Chippo starts to move to his right. I think if Cipollini doesn't chop him, I think Abdu wins. But as he's coming out of the wheel and Cipollini's chopping him, Abdu puts his hand out, grabs the saddle. I mean, great timing. Or no, he grabs his right leg, not his saddle and pulls Cipollini back, and that obviously exaggerates or accentuates how much he wins by, because Cipollini loses all momentum. And I don't know, like, is it self-preservation? He's still got a bit of space to the right. I don't know what the rules were back in the day. I think the rules in sprints before, like, 2010 was pretty much you're allowed to kill anybody if you're in front of them. So I I haven't got a copy of the rules back in the day, whether you're allowed to just chop someone like Cipollini. was obviously trying to do, he knew Abdul was coming, try to chop him to the barriers. By today's rules, you'd probably relegate both of them, because Cipollini obviously chops him and deviates from his line deliberately abdu you obviously can't put your hand out and touch someone in a sprint uh anymore and so you probably would have given it to capio johan capio ends up coming third even though he wasn't going to win this race but kind of as a punishment to both of them very very strange what ends up happening is despite abdu crossing first Liggett said he would have just let the result stand i probably would have been inclined to do the same myself they get Abdu on, on the the podium they say he's the winner of the 992 and then all of a sudden 
it starts coming down. The Commissaires, this is an actual photo of the Commissaires in the 1992 race, are looking at the finish and having a look at it. And all of a sudden, oh no, he finds out that Cipollini's been given the win and Abdul Jaffarov's been relegated or disqualified from the race completely. What do you think should have happened? Neither relegated, both relegated, one relegated. Or which one do you think should have been relegated, if any, or disqualified? I kind of think the Commissaire screwed over Abdul Jaffarov, but maybe that's because he had a bad reputation in the sprints. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you with something else maybe later in the week. Ciao.